Hello, I'm Pina Amir and welcome to my channel. For today, we're going to continue our Malay lesson which is about family. Family in Malay is keluarga. That's the formal pronunciation. An informal pronunciation would be keluarga. For my video title is We Are Family. And I'm going to explain to you about the cultural context as well in this video. So, We Are Family in Malay is Kita Adalah Keluarga. That's formal pronunciation. And informal pronunciation would be Kita Adalah Keluarga. In Malaysia, the interesting part is even we are not really family related by blood but even we are from different races or different religion, we are still family. So we start for the first word, great-grandparents. We call our great-grandparents Moyang. As you know, in Malay, we don't have a gender. So Moyang, you can use for both genders. And then we call our grandfather Dato or Ato. And our grandmother, Nene, or we like to shorten the word, so we call them Nek as well, or Opa. And for father, former one normally Bapa, but nobody here call their father Bapa. Bapa is formal pronunciation, informal pronunciation would be Bapa. They will call Ayah also formal, but people will prefer to call Ayah than Bapa. Other than Ayah, People also call their father by Abah or Papa. And what about mother? Formal one, a mak. But people anyway, we call their mother a mak. Even it's formal, but it's also applicable for informal conversation. Other than a mak, you have mak. Also shortened from a mak. A mak, mak, ibu and mama. And what about uncle? Uncle in Malay, if you translate, it will be Bapa Saudara. This is the formal pronunciation. Informal pronunciation would be Bapa Saudara. Saudara we shorten into Saudara. But you will call your uncle Pakci. But this is we are family apply. When you see other elders, you also address them by Pakci. Even they are not related by blood to you. So for example, if this uncle, his name is Abdullah, so you may call him Paklah. And if his name is Karim, then you will call Pak Karim. But if you hear somebody call their uncle Pak Long, that doesn't mean the name is Long. In Malaysia, especially in Malay family, we have like hierarchy what to call in a siblings, but not apply to every family, certain family only. So they will call the first child in the family as Along. And Along, when you shorten, it become Long. So if this like uncle to you and he's the first in the family, then you will call him Pak Long. But somehow you have to bear in mind, you cannot call every elder man Pak Chi because some people from the high status of the society, they don't like to be called Pak Chi. So you will address them like sir, but I will explain in other separate videos. Normally also, if you see like Malay men with Juba and also Kopia, then you will address them like Tuan Haji. Normally people who dress like this, Okay, I know it's a stereotype, but normally they already uh, went for pilgrimage. So, haji is referred to that. So, that's why we acknowledge them as Tuan Haji. But not necessary. So, it depends. But that's applied to Malay. When you see Malay uncle, when you say Malay older man, or even your own uncle. But if you see from other races, elder men from other races, which is not by blood related to you, normally you will call them in English. You will call them uncle. So, if they are is John, then you will call them Uncle John. And if their name is Sam, then you will call them Uncle Sam. We finish about uncle, now we proceed to an. An in Malay is a mak saudara. That's the formal pronunciation. Informal pronunciation would be mak saudara. But you don't call your aunt mak saudara or ibu saudara. You will call them mak chi. So, mak chi is very informal for conversation then as i said not necessarily blood related to you when you see older women then you also acknowledge them by machi if you don't know their name machi is very suitable but if you know their name like for example you know their name is Khadija so you will, you will call them Makja or if their name is Siti then you will call them Mak Siti that's how it works here but that's apply formally 
elder woman. If you see elder woman from different races like Indian or Chinese, we normally acknowledge them by auntie here. If their name is Yap, so you will call them Auntie Yap, something like that. I forgot to mention that if you heard somebody call elder woman Mak Su, that doesn't mean the person name is Su. Maybe their name is Su, like shortened from the word Suryati, so we call Mak Su. But it could be also, they are the last in their siblings, so you will call them Mak Su. As I said about Alo, then the last one we normally in the family we acknowledge as Bong Su. So you take the Su from the word Bong Su and combine Mak Su. But again, you have to remember, high status people in the society don't like to be called Mak Chi. For them, it's really like not for their standard. So you really have to be careful who you call if you know already. Normally, you know from people's attire and everything that they are not regular people. I know it's stereotype again. <laughs> But to be on the safe side, you normally call them madam or ma'am. But that's I'm going to do separate video. Well, I guess that's about the uncle and aunt. I hope you really understand. Now, I will proceed about husband and wife. Husband in Malay, we normally call suami. And wife in Malay, we normally call istri. But there's an idiom which we call our wife as orang rumah. Orang is people, rumah is house. So, orang rumah, which refer to a wife. So, married couple who we will call pasangan berkahwin. Married is kahwin, the root word. Couple is pasangan, so pasangan berkahwin. Or we can also call them suami isteri, husband and wife. Okay, that's about it. And then we move on to brother. In English, you have no clue brother is younger one or elder one. But in Malay, if you translate brother, it will be abang. But when you say abang, it's automatically means older brother and if someone also older than you not related by blood you can call them abang sometimes people shorten abang or bang when you see male older than you so for example if this guy uh, named azman then you will call him abang azman or bang man malay like to shorten everything so even name also we try to shorten but if it's a uh, if it's appropriate and in cultural context some wife call their husband abang that doesn't mean they are sibling and they get married no but it shows like a respect but that doesn't mean if you don't call abang you not respect that just uh, one of the cultural thing here so if you heard somebody call their abang abang ah, that doesn't mean that person name ngah so if they are the second in the sibling then you normally call them angah so if they are abang they are elder brother to you so you call abang ngah abang ah. so they are second your second brother if they are First one, then you call Abang Lung. The rules apply like what I've mentioned. I have to say also here that some girls don't like to call older male as Abang because uh, in certain cases, but it all depends on you and it all depends on your intention as well. But in certain circumstances, like girls flirting with men, they call them Abang. But depends on the tone as well. Sometimes they call Abang Kaca. Kaca means uh, handsome, but normally... We prefer to say handsome more than kaca because handsome is more easier to say. For conversation, we really pick which one is easier for us. If they wanted to flirt the master man, then they will call abang sadu. Sadu is a very informal word. There's not as is in the formal Malay dictionary. This sadu actually means that master man. And again, if they want to flirt, then they will say abang sayang. Sayang means love. About sayang, I will get back to you in another topic. So if you are a girl and you don't want people misunderstood you for all this cultural thing, then you just address someone as sir or encik in Malay. But if you are uh, know that person personally and he know you don't have any intention with them, then I guess it's normal to call them abang. And that's about abang. What about sister? So sister in English, you don't know. Is it younger sister? Or is it elder sister? But when you translate the word sister to Malay, which is kaka, then when you mention kaka, it's automatically is an elder sister. So you will call anybody like older than you. If it's not that too much age gap, you will call them ka. Not kaka, but ka. If uh, that person is uh, more of age gap, then you will prefer to call them as makcik. 
because makcik is definitely older than kak. If you call an older woman or older girl by kak and then their name for example Rosie so you will call them like kak Rose or their name is Lina so you will call them kak Lina. This is actually show signs of respect like you acknowledge okay you are older than me but if you heard somebody call kak nga, kak chi or kak lang that's just the hierarchy in the family not necessarily their name. In Malaysian culture, it's more sensitive if a younger girl don't call an elder girl by ka. Then, a younger guy don't call an older guy by abang. I don't know why it's super sensitive, but in my personal opinion, I really don't care if younger call me just by my name. Because I, I feel that I don't even call my um, sister by blood related with kaka. Then why I should make it an obligation for other people to call me kaka? I don't see any point. And then I feel like it's not the way you call them actually, but the way you treated them. But again, you have to know the sensitivity of a person. But to be on the safe side, you acknowledge them as kak. But again, as I said, if somebody from high social status in the society, then they don't like you to call them ka. They prefer you call them like puan or che, okay? miss or madam. But somehow, this is one thing you have to be careful if a girl, if a woman is younger than you and you call them ka, they feel really offended. They feel like, oh my god, am I so old? for you to call me such. So it all depends. So these are the things you have to take care of when you address somebody. But I guess it's easier. Just um, observe around how other people call and then you follow. And then we move on to uh, the next one, Ade. As I said, in Malay, we don't have gender. Ade, it can mean uh, female or it can mean male. So Ade, it can uh, mean your younger brother or your younger sister. Not necessarily your sibling, you can address somebody younger with adik or dek. That's how we shorten our word. And in my case, if I'm not sure that girl or that woman is younger than me or older than me, at the same time, I don't want uh, she feel offended if I call her ka because if it's uh, turn out she's younger than me, so I will call her adik. I really don't mind. I just call adik or dek. How you want to know? Adik is uh, referred to a male or female. Then normally you will put adik per Perempuan, adik perempuan. Perempuan is female. When you speak, normally you don't say adik perempuan. To shorten, you will say adik perempuan. Adik perempuan. If it's a male younger brother, then you will say adik lelaki. Lelaki is referred to male. So when you say adik lelaki, it's already referred to your younger brother. And if I'm a female and I call a guy like adik, because uh, maybe he's my age, maybe he's just a slight older or younger and it's fine. But a certain male, Male, when they wanted to call female, they are afraid to use adik. They afraid people mistake them that they wanted to flirt. Because when a guy flirt a girl here, they like to call adik. Something like adik manis, adik sayang. Manis is sweet and sayang is love. So to be on the safe side, even they know you are a female which are younger than them, they anyway will call you kak because they don't want you to have misunderstanding. But it all depends again on the social status depends on the circumstances as well. Okay, I hope you get a clear idea about Ade, about Abang, about Kakak, about Machi, about Pachi because I'm going to proceed to the next one which is Anak Saudara. That's a formal pronunciation. Informal pronunciation will be Anak Saudara. And we don't have gender. It could be either niece or nephew. So we call Anak Saudara, not Anak Saudara. When you're speaking, it's very weird. So you say Anak Saudara. What about grandchild? Grandchild in Malay is Chuchu. So if you have grandchildren, then you will say Chuchu Chuchu. And if it's a great grandchild, then it's Chichi. So if it's great grandchildren, then it will be Chichi Chichi. You just repeat the word. And if it's uh, your cousin, then you will say it's a pupu. Sometimes you try to shorten, then it will be spooku. I hope you understand about this lesson and I hope you understand why we are all family in Malaysia, especially when you live together, different races, different religion for a long, long time. Then everybody is like your family. We are in one country, so we are all family. We live peacefully. So keep united and keep being happy together. Thank you very much for watching me and bye. See you again.